Let's see what unfathomable retardation awaits us today. I recently watched Emma Watson's speech at the UN regarding feminism. Well, she wasn't there to report on the fishing industry in Canada, was she? So I don't know why you said that. Or why I'm saying this. And it had me in tears. Not just because I agreed with what Emma was saying or the power in which she spoke, but because she wasn't just standing up for women, she was standing up for the entirety of humanity. I would have thought she was there to further her career and no longer just be known as that girl from Harry Potter, but oh, okay, yeah, fair enough. Emma stated that it's not just women who suffer from the dichotomous view that men are one way and women are another. Don't tell me the non-binaries are getting it in the ass as well. Oh no, you mean men. Okay, my bad. For example, men and boys often feel they can't express their feelings and fear that it might be seen as unmanly. The well, you don't really seem all that afraid, mate. I guess you haven't got much to lose, have you? The thing that surprised me the most is that the number one cause of death for males between the age of 20 and 49 in Great Britain is... Your t-shirt? Suicide. Ah, fuck. That was my second answer. Of all things, suicide. Well, yeah, that shit is fatal. That alone blows my mind and tells me that something is wrong. There is no place on earth where men, women, boys, and girls are free from gender prejudice and have the right to equal opportunity in every aspect of their lives, including expressing their own individuality and emotions. Well, thank fuck for that. That sounds like a right shit fest. If your idea of heaven is people tiptoeing around each other, then I'd rather sweat it out downstairs. Feminism is the attitude that all people are created equal and every human deserves the same human rights and equal respect. Except some deserve more than others, yeah. As of now, women are not afforded the same wages as men. How is this myth still going? It's, it's like people know unicorns don't exist, and that makes it really fucking annoying when someone just won't shut up about unicorns. But they know they don't exist, don't they? Don't they? Don't they? They're not well represented in politics or in global policy making. Hello buddy, coming at you from a country that's on his second female prime minister. Woo, over here. In her speech, Emma stated, if men don't have to be aggressive to be accepted, women won't feel compelled to be submissive. And if men don't have to be in control, then women won't have to be controlled. Well, yeah, I mean, it sounds nice because it kind of folds up into its own little pamphlet, doesn't it? But the fact is being a man doesn't inherently make you aggressive. Being a woman doesn't make you submissive, and suggesting that it does only serves to broaden the gap which you are apparently trying to close. Both men and women should feel free to be sensitive, and both men and women should feel free to be strong. We do live in a time where you can be whatever you want to be. Look at Caitlyn Jenner, look at that bitch who thinks she's a cat. You wanted to be a whingy little cunt and you're doing it, mate. The ideals of feminism do not only reach into the aspects of gender, but also of sexuality. Yeah, fuck knows why. I mean, what what is going on there, really? As a child, I felt trapped and confined. I felt that I couldn't freely express myself like my female acquaintances and still be accepted by my community. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can believe that. I learned to hide all of my emotions and just suffer silently in fear that I would be discovered by my community as unmasculine. How's that going, Wingy cunt? With the, with the hiding of the emotions, that going well? Yeah, it's going well. And then I would be seen as a disappointment to society, uh, a person who's a step less. The assumption that gender and sexuality are built on an opposing dichotomous scale chains us down to that. Well, yeah, going down that route, yeah, it is built on the norm. That is a statistical frequency. But I have said, we live in a time where you can be whatever the fuck you want. You can be that guy who fucks the exhaust pipes of cars if you like. You're going to get weird looks every time you rock up to a Tesco car park, but you can be that guy. Because gender and sexuality are extraordinarily dynamic traits that are unique in every single human. Going by the aforementioned car exhaust pipe fetish, yeah, fair enough, sexuality, very fucking dynamic. But gender, no dice, home slice. We're all very well aware that no two people are the same, so we cannot still be grouping people as if they are. Whoa, so now the word twins is an offensive term, fuck. 31 states in the US still lack the freedom to marry for same-sex couples, and I live in one of those states. Oh no, and there goes your only chance of finding love, blame it on the government, uh. If I wanted to get married, I could not legally get married. Yeah, probably because they took out a fucking restraining order against you. I consider love for another person to be a basic human right, and that is denied to some people in 90% of the world. Mate, in Japan, people can marry pillows. Fucking 90%. Hate breeds hate. And I believe that the cycle will continue until we all unanimously take a stand together in support of gender equality. Take a stand to achieve what? We already have gender equality. Anyone who doesn't want to get offended for the fucking sake of being offended can see that. 
it's not just a man issue or a woman issue or a gay issue or a straight issue. It's it's a human issue. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you just assume my species? Join the solidarity movement in support of women and girls. Click the link heforshe.org in the description below. If Join a solidarity movement in support of women and girls, but it's not just a female issue. Did you get your hypothalamus gland pierced as well as both of your ears? If you identify yourself as male, you can sign the he for she commitment to take action against all forms of violence and discrimination faced by women and girls. So men can take action, okay. If you identify yourself as female, you can still promote this awesome cause and spread the word about this movement. Oh uh, yeah, okay. Women spread the word and men take action. Yeah, fuck, yeah, yeah. Yeah, gender equality. Got it. As always, I love seeing your thoughts in the comment section below. You want my thoughts? You want my th Okay, my thoughts are you look like a cross between a mime artist and hepatitis. Thank you for watching, guys, and remember, wait for the engine to cool down before you fuck it.